Hello, and welcome to a new series, Tales from the Dark Side Shorts. This is where we're going to try to make little short videos that will cover certain topics. For example, uh, this is going to be Dark Horse, Star Wars, Boba Fett covers and stories uh, that you can find $5 and under bins. Uh, we found all these recently in $5 and under bins, and I'm saying within the last four months. So um go out there and find them some in high grade some in mid grade uh but you can get you can pretty much still find these out here um before we get into it i'd really like to shout out and thank a lot um our sponsor the sponsor of this uh series birdcitycomics.com birdcitycomics.com you know anthony top 10 list you know laura she helps out there she also does the uh women in comics over with our friend jen great people they have a great store over there at birdcitycomics.com. Signature series, exclusives, books, every just go check them out. Hey, if you see something over there, you want to buy it, you're like, we like the guys over there. We like the girls over at Dark Side. Uh, want to support us a little bit? Use our creator code, D-A-R-K-S-H-D-E. That's D-A-R-K-S-H-D-E. Gives us a little bit of a creator code credit over there. We really appreciate it if you do that. Hey, enough of the plug. Let's get into it. Here we go. We don't have a lot of time left. Start the clock. First book, Star Wars Tales 18. This is um, of the Star Wars Tales series. Still kind of a cheaper book out there. Uh, obviously, this is the photo cover of Boba Fett in Cloud City in the dining room next to Vader, pointing his blaster at Han Solo. Very good. Uh, got this one for a couple bucks a couple months ago. Uh, it was in a, a sale I went to where it was half off all the books priced. It was originally priced $4. He sold it to two. That's a pretty good one. Um, I also had got at a different store. Uh, you'll figure out what store it is because I'm not going to name any of the stores. I got it for $1.95. I've got the uh, variant cover of that two, the non photo cover. Uh, well, it would be the reversal. Either way, the non photo cover. Also like this cover. Um, for some reason, photo covers with Bubble Fat. Uh, <clears throat> not a big fan of photo covers typically. The Bubble Fat ones I do like, however. Um, as I said, it has to have both elements to it, so the stories here are good. Unlike one of our other Tales books that we really enjoy, uh, which is Fet Club. You hear us say it all the time. It doesn't have a Fet cover. That's, and plus, I don't think that book's under $5 anymore. So uh, this one here, though, is a whole Fet issue. Um, everything in it, Fet, really cool. They also got some of the Tales elements in it. They have four, five stories. They also do a... Uh, a one shot page shot of something they've done in a lot of the books where they make fun of like the writers, the publishers, the producers. This is a carbon freezing kind of mock-up. Uh, it was pretty cool. I enjoyed that last part two in the end, the last story when he's hunting solo, he also forms the Bobo Fett commanders, which is kind of cool. Hey, look, you never know. Mandalorian has been good so far. We know he's in the background in one of those. We'll see what happens with his character. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Just saying it's a cool book. Got a lot of cool stories in there. Um, pick it up. Next one is a one shot. It is <clears throat> Bubble Fett Overkill. This is that yellow cover. Looks like the sun in the background. Actually, something blowing up, I believe. Um, it's an AH cover, Adam Hughes. Probably one of my favorite Adam Hughes covers of uh, the Star Wars Adam Hughes lines. We'll probably do a short on the Star Wars Adam Hughes covers. Um, not a fan of Adam Hughes Star Wars covers in general, so it's not hard to say that this is my favorite. <laughs> uh, but yeah, still kind of cool because it's kind of him in shadowy figures. I really in do enjoy the inside. Um, the humor uh, is very childish. Uh, it's great. He... Uh, is a lot of times on this speeder bike that they kind of make more look a little bit uh, motorcycle-y more than anything else. He like speeds off on it. He switches sides a bunch of times. Like they shoot cannons. He's flying in between blaster fires. It, it's a fun book, fun read. Uh, I enjoy it. I got this book uh, not too long ago for, it was in that, uh, so it was like a couple months uh, $2 and 50 cents. Cause it was half off. It was a $5 book. That's why I set the limit of these books as $5. Cause technically it was in a $5 bin, but the guy was having half off sales. So I got it for two fifty. It isn't, it wasn't pretty good grade. Um, 
So, I mean, that's still out there. You'll find them every once in a while. Look, there's a bunch of AH co collectors. I'm not saying that these are in every single dollar bin, but they're still out there. Okay. Uh, besides photo covers, a lot of these under $5 books, that's something else that you can have is the series. There's a lot of them that have a couple covers in the series. This series is a series I personally like. Um, it's Star Wars Blood Ties. Uh, Boba Fett is dead. Now, remember, there's more than one Star Wars Blood Ties. There's one of the other similar ones with Boba Fett in it is the um, the regular Blood Ties, which has Bubba and Jango in it. This isn't that one. This is the one that has to deal more with when they thought the Emperor uh, that he was there was a hit out for him and he was dead. Obviously, I just spoiled it. If you haven't read it, that's not the case. This one also is kind of fun because it shows, well, it shows like, so Boba Fett has got like a kind of, there's like this Jon Snow-ish type. I don't know how to explain it. His dad kind of overtook it. It's almost like a stepkid. Like he surrogated him, but like in the background. And then Boba Fett kind of takes his identity because they look the same. And then he loses an arm. And they also, <clears throat> there's a certain doctor, uh, you might recognize here that re gives uh, Freeman Connor Freeman, who's the John Snowish character, the arm. Uh, also, uh, later on in these books, uh, you get his. Uh, you know, there's debate if it is actually uh, his daughter for sure. Uh, it's his baby mama's child. There is a little bit of debate. That's why, like, when people ask me if they think that the uh, um, that this is something that's gonna show up. They're gonna have to redo the story because the mom too has been, uh, if you read the novel, she's been assaulted. So not to get into all that does have this uh, little famous hologram that you also see earlier in a, in dark horse, um, the dark horse star Wars tale seven. However, this one has got the daughter, uh, with the plasma cannon, cool scene. And it has a lot more in depth about the family, real dope, uh, cool series pick it up that was number one cover that i showed you i am going to break my own rule here and show you the one in five i did technically technically i got this for five dollars uh, however i will put the caveat that it was not in great shape so technically this shouldn't count in here but since i'm doing the video and i love this cover uh, i'm going to show the cover off it's really cool probably one of my favorite bubble fat covers it's probably actually more in the $20 range when you fi find it in good condition. I did find it for $5. Um, it has a lot of ticks in it and it's damaged pretty bad. But if you, hey, look, you know, we got a lot of people out there in the Star Wars, uh, in the dark side, Tales from the Dark Side click. You know, they're probably out there in uh, Tennessee right now digging through, you know, just long boxes of dollar bins. They're going to find like 20 of these or they're out in New Zealand and they just got a whole new package of these in for like, 15 cents a piece or whatever else you guys are doing out there. Uh, so feel free if you get them that cheap to just mail them to me. I do love this cover. Um, but for the majority of us, it's going to be harder to find this one. Maybe we'll do a secondary cover of like a uh, higher grade expensive bubble fat covers. That could probably be a, a fun topic. Okay. So number uh, in the blood tie series, uh, the number two, I got this for a dollar 95 so you obviously know where I got this. This was a couple of months ago. This is when we were kind of allowed to start going back out into Gen Pop um, and go digging again. Now you might say this is a stormtrooper. Eh, well, if you read the story, 50-50, if that is Bubble Fett or not, his helmet is definitely on this cover. Yes, that's a do-back that he's riding. Uh, yeah, you got, I mean, it's just a beautiful cover. I love it. The do-back is great. Um, hey, what can I say? It was... It's in the series. It could have been him. His helmet definitely is on there. It qualifies. It's under five dollars. Enough said. Cool cover. Cool story. And then uh, not the three. Obviously, I think has Darth Vader on it, so we couldn't add that one. However, uh, the best out of the covers that were under five dollars. Once again, in decent condition. Not talking about the one in five here, but. Uh, that are the A covers, the best one that I think, and one of the best overall so far covers that I've shown you for the under five dollars. One of my favorite um, is blood is the blood ties, the blood ties, Boba Fett's dead for number four cover, the A cover, Fetch Revenge. It has him 
pointing it right, right down the barrel at you. You get to see a lot of the scratching, a lot of the scarring on his armor. You get to see, you know, some of the imprints. I like it. It looks like it's kind of gleaming, shining at you. Um, you know, it's whiskey. There's not a lot in the background. It's a little bit darker. It is a little tougher to get it without, you know, some of these books have been touched a lot of times. Um, I like the cover. It completes the story. And then like the, also Connor Freeman and, and Bubba Fett's wife are like making it. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, um, that's that series. I think all of them are good, obviously. Um, that's probably the favorite of the A covers. And then I get to get into one of my favorite series for last here. We're going to wrap it up. Um, I am going to show you. Oh, I got that cover for two dollars, by the way, uh, just recently. Um, Star Wars Underworld number one. I wasn't actually going to add this cover. It is a cheap. It is a cheap book. I got it for a dollar fifty uh, at that half off sale. So it was in the three dollar bin. I got it for a dollar fifty uh, out the door. Um, it has Boba Fett on it. It has Han Solo. It has Lando. I actually pick up all the covers to these series A's and B's whenever I can find it and ask everybody to. I always find them under like a couple bucks or less. Having it priced at three dollars was actually kind of expensive. I thoroughly enjoy this series, but I this is where the photo covers really got into it because all the B covers in this series are photo covers. Um, number two actually was pretty popular. They redid this in the current uh, Bounty Hunter Bauer. Bounty Hunter series. Um, but Star Wars Underworld 2, the B cover is Bubble Fett standing next to IG-88. It's a famous scene from a movie. Then once again, we will go to, and I got that for a dollar. It was a dollar, just flat out, found it in a dollar bin. Uh, pretty high grade on that too, which is nice. I probably should have actually tried to learn. I should try to learn to use a scanner so I can actually scan in the books, but then I got to dig them up and scan them. Either way, um, just not that great at it. Uh, number four, I got for a dollar ninety-five. It is him once again, and I actually kind of like the background. So it's like photo-ish, but the background instead of showing like the dinner table like they did in the Tales eighteen, they kind of made up their own background and just used the cropped-out photo of him in that scene. Uh, I think it's a little cleaner, a little better. Uh, but my favorite photo cover out of all of them is this one right here. It is yellow. It is the four out of five. That was the last one was the five. It was four out of five. It is the yellow one that has Bosk on it and Boba Fett in the background. The yellow and orange, the picture here doesn't do it justice. This is what I was thinking when I was talking about uh, number five that I just saw. Um, you know, 195 for this one. So you know where I got it from. And it actually was in pretty decent shape because it wasn't located in the Star Wars section. It was located in a different section that normally doesn't get picked through. Uh, maybe it's because their fan base uh, doesn't know what a true sci-fi odyssey should be. Either way, uh, got a great copy of this. I was thoroughly happy. But then again, you know, you can usually find them in the 2 to $3 ranges, even in decently high grade. This story is really cool. It has to do with, um, <laughs> it's pre-Han Solo in the original trilogies. It is like when he's a scoundrel still. And the Hutt families decide to have kind of like a treasure hunt uh, slash uh, road race or whatever, where they try to fight. They send all these guys out to see who's going to be the best to, to get this treasure for them. They place bets and everything like that. Um, the series is, is, is awesome. Uh, got everybody in there you want, especially if you're a fan of scoundrels, because it's got, you know, Han Solo Lando, it's got Bosk, it's got IG 88, it's got Zuckus, it's got Forlo, it's got, uh, Oh, it's got Sing in it. It's got, um, all of them. I mean, everybody's there. All the little little guys in the underworld. So it's a great one. It's a fun book, a uh, good read. And still to this day, uh, cheap. It is That has been, I got those very recently, probably in the last month and a half to two months. Um, none of these books, like I said, excluding, I mean, I got the one, I the red cover, cover the one in five for blood ties for $5. Technically that one in the overkill one, were in there they were within reason um i'm not gonna say that you're gonna find the one in five there anyways there you go right at 15 minutes i hope uh i hope that was cool
cool. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm probably going to do a couple more. So please watch them. And hey, one more time, please go out there, support our friends, birdcitycomics.com. At least check out what they have. If you do buy something, throw in the creator code, D-A-R-K-S-H-D-E. Help us out a little bit. I appreciate it. And may the force be with you always.